Welcome to the Unraveling the Scriptures channel. Have you ever stopped to think about what the world was like before the major events of the Exodus? What would it be like to live in an era full of mysteries, conflicts, and uncertainties, where every step needed to be carefully planned to avoid potential problems? How were deep beliefs and ancient traditions guided? What was the true culture, geography, and religion of that time? What do we know about daily life, technological advances, and the structure of that civilization? Today, I extend a special invitation for you to join us on a journey through time. Let's explore together the long-forgotten secrets of the ancient world. Get ready to uncover a universe of lost knowledge, where each answer reveals new questions and each mystery leads us to new revelations. Then let's embark on this fascinating journey through the paths of the past. If you enjoy the video, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Your presence will be greatly appreciated. Leave a comment if you like and a like as a form of support. With that, get ready, as we delve into various aspects of Egyptian society in this grand biblical event that was the Exodus. What was the world like before the Exodus? Do you know what the term Exodus means? The term Exodus holds profound significance in biblical history and the collective consciousness of humanity. It represents not only a physical migration but also a spiritual journey of liberation and renewal. The Exodus refers to the departure of the ancient Israelites from Egypt, led by Moses, towards freedom and the promise of a new land. This fundamental event marked the history of the Hebrew people and influenced the development of faith and morality over the centuries. In ancient Egypt, under the blazing sun of the desert, life flourished on the banks of the Nile River, bringing with it the mysteries and wonders of a legendary civilization. People woke up at the break of dawn, preparing for the toils that sustained their lives. Food was a dance of colors and flavors, where golden grains were ground to make the bread that nourished the body and soul. Bustling markets displayed a profusion of succulent fruits, exotic vegetables, and fresh fish pulled from the waters of the Nile, while the scent of exotic spices filled the air. The dwellings of the Egyptians reflected their quest for stability and security. Built with mud bricks, the houses were simple yet cozy, with flat roofs providing shade on scorching days and sheltering large families. However, the more affluent among them enjoyed luxurious mansions adorned with vibrant paintings and lush gardens, serving as oases of tranquility amidst the city's hustle and bustle. As for attire, Egyptian clothing was an expression of their identity and social status. White linen tunics were worn daily, keeping them cool under the blazing sun, while finely embroidered fabrics adorned with precious jewels were reserved for special occasions. Women displayed graceful dresses adorned with gold ornaments, while men sported elegant and colorful tunics, indicating their position in the social hierarchy. Yet life in ancient Egypt was not solely about work and daily chores. People found moments of leisure and recreation in activities that filled their days. Board games were a popular source of entertainment, while religious festivities celebrated the gods and goddesses who governed their lives. Vibrant dances and music echoed through the narrow streets of cities, filling the air with joy and celebration. However, behind the facade of tranquility and prosperity, Egyptian society was deeply stratified and hierarchical. At the top of the social pyramid were the pharaoh and the nobility, whose power was absolute and whose lives were filled with luxury and extravagance. Just below were the priests and scribes, who held significant prestige and influence. Artisans and merchants, with their hard work and specialized skills, sustained the kingdom's economy. At the base of the pyramid were the peasants and slaves, whose lives were characterized by strenuous work and difficult conditions. Regarding gender roles, men were generally responsible for providing for their families and held positions of power and authority in society. Women, on the other hand, played a vital role in family life and could engage in economic activities such as trade and goods production. Furthermore, some women attained prominent positions in Egyptian society, such as queens and priestesses, wielding significant power and influence over the people. In terms of governance, ancient Egypt was a theocratic monarchy, where the pharaoh was considered a living god and held divine authority over his subjects. His word was law, 
and his will was carried out through a complex bureaucracy composed of administrative officials and loyal advisors. However, the pharaoh was also assisted by a caste of powerful priests who wielded significant influence over the kingdom's religious and political life. Thus, the daily life and society of ancient Egypt reflected the complexity and richness of this millennia-old civilization, where every aspect of life was permeated by ancient traditions and deep beliefs. On the banks of the majestic Nile River, life in ancient Egypt was shaped by the forces of nature, with climate and geography playing fundamental roles in the people's daily existence. Egypt was blessed with a unique climate, characterized by long periods of scorching sun and little precipitation. The seasons were divided into two distinct periods, the inundation and the dry season. During the inundation, the waters of the Nile overflowed from its banks, fertilizing the fields and preparing the soil for planting. In the dry season, the relentless sun punished the land, demanding hard work from farmers to ensure harvest and survival. Egypt's geography was marked by the dominant presence of the Nile River, which meandered through its fertile lands, nourishing them with its nutrients and ensuring the kingdom's prosperity. The lands along the banks of the Nile were rich in fertile soil, where the Egyptians cultivated a variety of crops, including cereals, vegetables, and fruits. Additionally, the river was an important transportation and communication route, enabling trade between different regions of Egypt and beyond its borders. Besides the Nile, Egypt was surrounded by arid deserts and imposing mountains, which served as natural boundaries and protected the kingdom from foreign invasions. The Western Desert, known as the Libyan Desert, was a vast expanse of sand and rocks where little life flourished. To the east, the Arabian Desert stretched to the horizon, challenging travelers with its undulating dunes and cutting winds. In the south, the Sinai Mountains rose like silent sentinels, guarding the secrets of the lands beyond their borders. Despite the challenges posed by climate and geography, the people of ancient Egypt learned to thrive in harmony with nature, harnessing available resources and adapting to adverse conditions. Their lives were a celebration of fertility and abundance, where each harvest was a blessing from the gods and every flood of the Nile represented a rebirth of the land. Thus, Egypt's climate and geography were not just physical elements, but symbols of a divine order that governed the universe and guided the destinies of the Egyptian people according to their beliefs. Step with us into the halls filled with wonders of ancient Egypt, where culture and art were treasures as valuable as the gold that adorned temples and palaces. Egyptian art was a vivid expression of spirituality and reverence for life after death, where each sculpture, painting, and hieroglyph told a sacred story. The pyramids rose like silent witnesses to the grandeur and ingenuity of the Egyptian people, while temples, adorned with colossal statues and richly decorated walls, were abodes of the gods and centers of devotion. But art was not limited to monumental works alone. Egyptian literature was an endless source of wisdom and beauty, with writings that address themes that still resonate with us today. Religious texts, such as the Book of the Dead, offered guidance for the journey after life, while tales and poems celebrated the deeds of the gods and heroes of ancient Egypt. Music and dance, with their hypnotic melodies and graceful movements, filled the hearts of the Egyptians with joy and celebration. In addition to the richness of Egyptian culture, the cultural traditions of the peoples of the region also deserve mention. The Hebrews, with their unwavering faith and quest for freedom, left a legacy of stories and teachings that resonate to this day. Their music and dances reflected the joy and hope of a people who faced unimaginable challenges, while their sacred narratives continue to inspire and guide generations. Thus, we delve into the depths of the past, where culture and art were silent witnesses to the greatness and beauty of ancient Egypt. Each work of art, each monumental construction, echoes the echoes of a civilization that lived and thrived on the banks of the Nile, leaving behind a legacy that endures through the centuries. Prepare to unravel the mysteries of the gods and deities that populated the imagination of ancient Egypt. The Egyptian pantheon was an extensive and intricate network of deities that personified natural elements, aspects of daily life, and cosmic powers. From R.A., the radiant sun god who bathed the sky in light, to Isis, the powerful goddess of motherhood and magic, each divine entity played a crucial role in the lives of the Egyptians. 
Among these gods were Osiris, the god of the dead and resurrection, symbolizing the eternal cycle of life and death, Horus, the god of the sky and sunrise, associated with protection and royalty, Ta, the divine creator and patron of artisans and architects, and Batet, the goddess of fertility, music, and dance, often depicted with the head of a lioness or cat. Anubis, the guide of embalmers and the afterlife, led the souls of the dead in the final judgment. Each of these deities had its own myths and functions in Egyptian mythology, exerting a profound influence on the life and culture of the Egyptian people. Religious practices were an essential part of existence, penetrating all spheres of daily life. Majestic temples served as centers of devotion, where priests and priestesses performed complex rituals and sacred offerings in honor of the gods. The religious celebrations of the Egyptians revered natural cycles and cosmic phenomena, uniting people in communion and festivity. However, alongside this rich religious tradition, we find the Hebrews, a people with beliefs and practices notably distinct from those of their neighbors. Before the Exodus, the Hebrews were a nomadic community whose faith was firmly rooted in the promise of their God, Yahweh, of a promised land and a life of freedom. Their religious practices were simple and straightforward, centered on the worship of a single God and the observance of the commandments and laws revealed to their leader, Moses. However, how this chosen people ended up being subjugated by the Egyptians is a question that leads us to explore the depths of history and human tragedy. According to biblical accounts, the Hebrews were initially welcomed into Egypt during a period of famine in their homeland. However, as time passed, their presence became a threat to the Pharaoh, who feared the increase in their population and power. Thus, the Hebrews were reduced to slavery and oppression, forced to work in the harsh conditions of Egyptian mines and fields. Despite the adversities, the faith of the Hebrews remained unshakable, nourishing the hope of one day being liberated from oppression and led to redemption and freedom. This is a story of courage, perseverance, and unwavering faith, echoing through the centuries and inspiring all those who seek justice and freedom in a world marked by oppression and injustice. Now, we delve into a fascinating topic, one that particularly interests me. I invite you to join us in uncovering the secrets of ancient techniques and innovations that shaped the world of ancient Egypt. In this land of wonders and mysteries, technology was a powerful ally in the pursuit of prosperity and progress. In agriculture, the Egyptians developed advanced irrigation systems, harnessing the floods of the Nile River to fertilize the lands and ensure abundant harvests. Shadufs, water-lifting devices, and norias, water wheels, were used to irrigate the fields and sustain agriculture in a region where water was life. But it wasn't just in agriculture that the Egyptians excelled. Their skills in construction were equally impressive, as evidenced by the grand pyramids and temples that still challenge modern understanding today. With advanced engineering techniques and the intelligent use of materials such as stone and brick, the Egyptians erected monuments that remain enduring testimonies to their skill and devotion. Regarding transportation, the Egyptians were masters of river navigation, exploring the vast stretches of the Nile River in skillfully crafted vessels. Sailing and rowing boats were used for transporting goods, commercial voyages, and military expeditions, connecting the various regions of Egypt and beyond. The technological achievements of the Egyptians not only transformed their own society but also had a profound impact on the entire region. The agricultural techniques and irrigation systems of the Egyptians not only allowed the expansion of Egypt's borders but also established trade routes that extended to distant lands in Africa, the Middle East, and beyond. Their skills in construction not only inspired later civilizations but continue to be the subject of study and admiration to this day. Thus, we gain a deeper understanding of the past, where the Egyptians mastered the secrets of technology and used them to influence the world around them. Every advancement, every innovation echoes the achievements of a civilization that reached great heights and left behind a legacy of knowledge and conquest that endures through the centuries. Now, we enter the world of virtues and principles that guided the lives of people in ancient Egypt before the crucial moment of the Exodus. In this society deeply rooted in traditions and beliefs, morality and ethics played fundamental roles in social organization and cohesion. Justice was a central pillar, 
where laws and norms were applied to ensure equity and harmony among community members. The Egyptians believed in a divine order that governed the universe, with rulers and priests tasked with ensuring that this order was maintained and respected by all. Kindness and compassion were also highly valued values, manifested through gestures of solidarity and generosity towards the less fortunate. Charity was considered a moral obligation, and the wealthy were expected to contribute to the well-being of the community through donations and charitable works. This culture of mutual care and support strengthened social bonds and ensured the stability and cohesion of society. Moreover, individual and collective responsibility was a fundamental principle, where each person had a duty to fulfill their obligations and contribute to the general welfare. The ancient Egyptians attached great importance to honor and integrity, expecting everyone to act with honesty and respect for others. Trust and loyalty were considered essential virtues, and those who violated them faced severe punishments and society's contempt. However, despite the noble ideals that governed life in ancient Egypt, there was also room for ambiguities and contradictions. Ethical and behavioral norms varied according to social position and political power, and not everyone was treated equally under the law. For example, slavery was an accepted reality, and the rights of women and minorities were not always respected. As we explore the moral and ethical values of society before the Exodus, we are confronted with the complexity and contradictions of human nature. Despite the noble ideals that inspired people to act with justice and kindness, there were also persistent injustices and inequalities, challenging the very essence of humanity in civilization. We now enter the realm of the soul and reflection, where the ancient Egyptians sought answers to the mysteries of existence and the beyond. In this land of ancient rituals and reverence for the gods, spirituality permeated every aspect of daily life, offering comfort and guidance. Amidst the uncertainties of the material world, the Egyptians viewed the universe as an interconnected place, where gods, humans, and nature were intrinsically linked by invisible bonds of energy and purpose. The spiritual quest of people before the Exodus was a journey of self-discovery and connection with the divine, where sacred temples and religious practices served as portals to celestial realms. The Egyptians believed in the immortality of the soul and the afterlife, seeking to prepare for the journey beyond the grave through mummification rituals and offerings to the gods. Priests and priestesses played essential roles as intermediaries between mortals and gods, offering prayers and sacrifices on behalf of the community. In addition to spirituality, predominant philosophies of life also exerted significant influence on people's actions and thoughts. The wisdom of ancient sages and philosophers echoed through the centuries, offering insights into the purpose of life and the path to true fulfillment. The notion of Maat, or cosmic order, was central to the Egyptian worldview, encouraging harmony, justice, and balance in all things. However, even in the depth of Egyptian spirituality and philosophy, there was still room for unanswered questions and unresolved mysteries. The pursuit of truth and enlightenment was a continuous journey, where each answer raised new questions and each discovery revealed new mysteries. Thus, the Egyptians continued their tireless quest for understanding of the universe and humanity's place within it, inspiring future generations to explore the limits of knowledge and wisdom. In this whirlwind of thoughts and beliefs, we are reminded of the depth and complexity of the human experience, where spirituality and philosophy offer light and guidance amidst the darkness of the unknown. Thus, we lose ourselves in the vast depths of the Egyptian soul, where each step brings us closer to the truth and understanding of the divine. From this point on, Moses emerges as a central figure in the history of the Hebrew people. Born during a period of oppression and slavery, Moses was raised as a prince of Egypt, but soon discovered his true Hebrew origins. He represented hope and the promise of liberation for his people, and his journey would play a crucial role in the epic event of the Exodus. However, this point in history, with the emergence of Moses and his adventures towards the liberation of the Hebrew people, will be explored in the next video. Get ready to uncover the mysteries and wonders of this incredible journey, which will continue to surprise and inspire throughout the ages. We have reached the end of this fascinating journey through the world before the Exodus, 
where we explored the secrets and wonders of a distant era that continues to echo through the centuries. During this thrilling journey, we explored various aspects of the ancient world, from daily life to technological advances and spiritual beliefs. Each element offered valuable insights into the complexity and richness of biblical history. By understanding the social, cultural, and religious contexts of the time, we are able to more deeply appreciate the narratives that shaped the faith and identity of the Hebrew people. The history of the Hebrew people is a saga of courage, resilience, and unwavering faith, culminating in the liberation from slavery. Even in the face of challenges and adversity, the Hebrew people remained steadfast in their determination to seek freedom and justice, inspiring future generations to follow in their footsteps and strive for a better world. However, our journey does not end here. I invite you, the viewer, to reflect on the lessons we have learned today and on how knowledge of the past can illuminate our present and our future. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below, and together we will continue to explore the wonders of biblical history and beyond. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. This way, I'll understand that you enjoy this type of content and I'll be able to bring more to you. May God bless you, and I'll see you soon.